Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. And today we're going to go ahead and review Angel Muse by Terry Mugley. If you stick around till the end of the video, you'll have a chance at winning a 5ml decant of this Angel Muse as well. And uh, stay tuned. So I wanted to do a review for Angel Muse. I've been wanting to do a review for Pure Tonka for a while. But I bought the two together. I bought Angel Muse and Pure Tonka together. And out of the two, I really fell in love with Angel Muse. And I've put off Pure Tonka review, but it'll come right after this particular review. So stay tuned for that in the next couple of days. But I'm really, really enjoying wearing Angel Muse. This is it right here. It's targeted to women, but this one is unique. I mean, it's, it's soft and feminine. But it has this masculine side. That's why I really, uh, really wanted to review this. I mean, I bought it because I heard great things about it. But once I got it, I really, really fell in love with it. Angel Muse is just a reimagining of the original Angel, which came out over 20 years ago. And uh, what they've done here is made it really, really, really nice. So it comes in two sizes. It comes in a 50 mil for 95. It comes in a 30 mil for 75. The fragrance is an Eau de Parfum concentration, and the nose behind it is Quentin Bish, who I believe has worked on several other fragrances for Terry Mugler. So we got the top notes, we've got grapefruit and red berries. The heart notes, you've got hazelnut spread. Keep that in mind. And then the base notes, you've got vetiver and patchouli. So not a lot going on with notes with this one, but boy, I am really, really in love with this one. It's one delicious and comforting recreation of the original angel now it does remind me of the original angel for women that came out in 92 as i said but there's something a little more relaxed and comforting about this you can smell or pick up the original angel which i go gaga over still to this day the original angel is just an intoxicating concoction of a fragrance um, i think i've mentioned this in the previous channel that I used to work for photo lab while I was going to art school and in the photo lab I used to develop film, you know, things like that, prints and all that good stuff and ladies would come in wearing angel and I would just be like, wow, what in the world is that scent? And they would tell me it's angel, it's called angel, it's this and that and I'm like, it smells great, you know? So they basically captured the original in here but it's not quite sharp and rough like the original it's a lot more softer. And the hazelnut spread is, I think, what makes this fragrance a lot softer and a little more comforting and a lot more pleasing and pleasant to wear. Then you've got that vetiver in the dry down, which actually makes the fragrance come off more masculine. The vetiver note has always been a masculine note for me. And I'm a huge fan of this. Vetiver with patchouli together is just Awesome, awesome stuff. Like I said, it's not as loud as the original, but it does have some legs. You get a good two and a half hours of projection, give or take maybe two to two and a half hours. Sillage is about the same, but again, it's not the same cloud of the original Angel when I first started smelling it in the late 90s. It's not as strong as that, but you can still pick it up. You can still kind of tell it's Angel, but it's not quite Angel, it's different. It's delicious. I've been told that I smell great, I smell tasty, and I think it's that hazelnut spread. So the hazelnut spread actually gives it this cloudy fluffiness, and that's what comes off with this. The other thing I pick up from this fragrance, from the cloudy fluffiness of the uh, ha uh, hazelnut spread, I get this like dusty, semi-sweet chocolate. That's pretty like significant for me in this fragrance. It smells so delicious, so like cacao-like, but cacao tends to be, you know, like the dusty powdery kind. This is not dusty powdery so much for me. It's just creamy, very, very creamy and fluffy, almost like marshmallows, if that makes sense. So it's really, really, really yummy. And I really, really love wearing it. And guys, don't be afraid to wear this one. I know it's a bit feminine, the bottle, as you can see. It's got the, you know, trademark star here. But, I mean, I, I'm not afraid to let people know that I'm, I'm wearing uh, Angel Muse. I mean, it's, it's a fragrance. I really enjoy it. And 
I, I love wearing it and, and it smells great. To have that beautiful, beautiful signature Mugler dry down with an added, you know, uh, earthiness of the vetiver here, it's, uh, I really, really love, love wearing it. And, and performance, as long, like longevity with this one, I get a good seven and a half hours. It becomes closer to the skin as it dries down, of course, with any fragrance, but this one is significantly closer than the original Angel. And I'm, I'm, I haven't worn Angel for a while. I've, uh, it's been a while. I, I owned one full bottle as a tester I bought in the 2000s. And I think at that time, the potency of that fragrance was a lot stronger than it is now. I'm sure it's been reformulated many, many times. But this again, compared to that, is significantly softer. So it becomes closer to the skin but a little body temperature, a little body heat is going to elevate and pump up that sparkly shininess of the Mugler DNA that's, in, that's present in a lot of the fragrances from this brand. And that's why I absolutely love Terry Mugler as a designer for fragrances. All of their fragrances tend to be really, really great. There are some misses here and there, but this one is definitely a winner. Go check out Angel Muse. I think you're going to really like it. Test it out. Smell that dusty, semi-sweet chocolate with the fluffy marshmallow-like hazelnut spread. Oh my God, you will be really, really in heaven and you would love wearing this beautiful gourmand fragrance called Angel Muse. Guys, as I said at the beginning, I'm planning on doing a five mil giveaway of this fragrance, um, decant giveaway. So all you have to do is be a subscriber here at Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. Make sure you comment down below as to why you want to win the five mil decant of Angel Muse and please put down your state you live in. If you don't have that information, you will be disqualified. Unfortunately, I have friends helping me with my channel and when they go through and don't know you personally, they will disqualify you, not include you in the random.org draw. Guys, please let me know what your thoughts are on Angel Muse. Would you have a problem wearing a fragrance that's targeted to ladies? It's really, really nice. It is feminine, but it is masculine leaning. That vetiver dry down is just amazing. Do check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Put down comments and I'll be happy to write back and answer. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video and I'll be back with more videos very soon. All right, guys. See you all later. Have a good one. Goodbye.